Welcome back to the 36th episode of a close combat moose mod for TLD with the Germans in the Grand Campaign on Elite Difficulty. And well, we are now fighting in Mont Midi, or however you say that. I'm not sure if this is going to be a defensive action or not, but I guess we'll see. Uh, no, we moved in a new team, so it's a meeting engagement. Which is fine, let's see what the enemy has, and uh... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll set them up a little. It looks like kind of a reserve team or something here. Uh, we've probably been fighting these guys before as they are somewhat depleted. Uh, on a lot of the stuff. A lot of the anti-tank stuff. We could give them some cannons, but that's really not good for a uh, meeting engagement. Uh, what I'm going to do is give them a couple of rifle grenade teams. And some heavy machine gun teams. Then I'll return to myself here and see what we have available. And I kind of want to make some changes here so we don't actually risk losing any important armor. Uh, like the Panzer 38Ts. I don't necessarily want to run them. We could run some half tracks though, potentially. And uh, Panzer 2Cs, maybe. That's still not good anti-tank, uh, in the anti-tank role. So a fourth dose in the Panzer 38 uh, command tank, maybe. Well, not even, because it, it can take on tanks. And I'll just go in here with stuff that we might lose some of our, uh, you know, command things. But... Uh, as long as we don't lose any anti-tank stuff, then I'm fine with that, I would say. Uh, we don't need these things so much. Uh, so let's see, uh, do we have more of these? Yeah, we have a couple more. And other than that, well, no, I want to retain the rest for anti-tank purposes. So we have Schützen, Aufklarungstruppen, Heavy Recon, they got some submachine guns, MGs, Motorized Schützen, Command Team. Is this the same Schützen? Okay, so we have four of these, which has, uh, they have six rifles, uh, sort of more effective at long range. These guys have Czechoslovakian uh, submachine guns and machine guns. Well, this is going to have very limited ammo, but oh well. Uh, all in all, I think that's good. And uh, yeah, the enemy just doesn't have a lot of anti-tank stuff, as we've already Pretty much taken out all of it. I could give them anti-tank guns, but as I say, it is meeting engagement. And what's going to happen then is that the anti-tank guns are just going to sit in here. And we are going to 100% know that they are going to sit in here. Right, because they just cannot move them around effectively, so... I, I, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I just I really kind of don't want to do that. Um... But these guys have some anti-tank capabilities. We'll put those guys in, and... 81 millimeter mortar maybe another one of these guys and uh, anyone with anti-tank capabilities these guys have some anti-tank capabilities so we'll bring three of those and another mortar team I guess which could be quite deadly if they hit uh, our open top vehicles of which we have quite a few so, well, that's that, I guess. Let's just hope they don't. Um, yeah, let's begin. So, uh, I, I guess mines respawn? Because there was a mine sale last time, and I'm sure they're going to be there again, so... Uh, okay, how do I want to approach this? I don't want to necessarily cost the minefield. Can we just get a cost this? I think vehicles drove across this stuff in the past. It's been a while since I played this game now, like two weeks, so I don't fully remember, but... Okay, what I'm going to do is take the Pencil 2Cs, and I'm going to push down south with them. At the very least, so just kind of... Uh, like this, then just move in this general direction. Actually, I probably need to waypoint them more uh, specifically so they don't run into trees and get demobilized, which 
can be a bit of an issue. There we go, and... There we go. This is probably going to need further changes in the future, I'm pretty sure, but it's a start at least. And, uh, yeah, I guess we just drive these guys just straight across there and hope for the best. Right, like that. And we should have one more, I believe, mechanized thing. No? Okay, I guess not. Anyway, we just push them across there and hope they don't get uh, immobilized and fucked up by mines. Which honestly could happen. Got a couple of infantry teams down here on the south side. I think two will suffice. I'm just going to grab these victory locations and take it from there. Uh, the Schutzen team can just move straight down here into this area. So these dudes here, we'll move them over there. Same with these guys. Just get the uh, maneuvers started, basically, and I hope they don't cross in the uh, where the road is. In fact, if we could get our mechanized stuff to not cross where the road is, that could be good as well. So what I'm going to do is just I'll put everything here and hopefully they cross in this area. I'll just do it like this. I'll send them somewhere else later. So here we go. Oh, we have artillery. Okay, well, we're just gonna fucking launch that right here, right away. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's happening here, but I guess we'll see. A meeting engagement artillery like this can be quite dangerous. Oh, the enemy also has artillery. Oof. Yeah, we need to get moving. I mean, I guess we are, but... Well, it does sound like we're hitting better than they are. At the very least. Yeah, that artillery strike there messed us up good. Keep moving if you can, please. These guys cannot move. Can they, however, fire at this area and just suppress it? No, the, the weaponry has been destroyed. Yeah, well, I mean, artillery strikes happen, and uh, if you have clusters like this, then uh, you pay the price. Alright, let's get the infantry moving at least, please. The artillery strike should be over, but uh, we still have mechanized to uh, just kind of sitting ducks for enemy mortar strikes. Uh, well, so these things happen, and that kind of sucks, but oh well. We should be able to kind of push through here with these. And get the Schutzen in as well. Just over here, maybe. Could be better. Yeah, we're taking a lot of casualties due to mines, artillery, mortar, all that fun stuff. So actual uh, infantry to push with is diminishing quickly. God, we are taking a lot of casualties. Man, this kind of sucks. Uh, who is not moving that should be moving? Like, what the hell? Get get the fuck in there. Alright, okay, we're gonna move the Panzer 2 Cs in and uh, get in the face of the enemy as well as we can. One of them over there, maybe. Maybe two, actually. Get another one rolling this direction. And we have the infantry following in behind. Right, so... Schutzen, go, go, go. Uh, yeah, at least two of these half tracks have been destroyed entirely, so that kind of sucks a bit. 
We're going up a pretty steep hill here, which could be problematical. I'm hoping it's not going to mobilize our armor. Could happen, though. Okay, we're going to have these guys go here, take that, then this. Uh, what's happening here? Everything's just some separated something. Okay, we mow down the last guy in the scout team. No, squad light team. Okay, well, right away. And there we go, they threw the tracks, so we might have lost that tank as well. Fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Alright, we got these shits in cell, they can go this way. Yeah, those grenade dudes been wiped out. Pencils are struggling climbing this hill. Yeah, let's see, we'll get the infantry across as well. Oh, we got enemy infantry right there. Are they engaging our tanks, actually? I mean, like, right there. I'm not sure why we're not seeing them, but... No target? No, but just blind for the damn area. What are you talking about, no target? Right, we'll get the infantry in. Maybe they can spot them. See, we got these guys, just head over there. And then we have these guys, just head over there. And we'll just go down the road a little bit with these dudes. Okay, we we'll put this guy in the fence for now so there's not like a traffic block thing going on here, making it uh, get immobilized. So there is enemy infantry right there, and we are just really not seeing it. They see our uh, infantry though. Boy, have we taken a lot of damn casualties. Oh wow, what? Oh no, they have anti-tank guns, I think. That looked like an anti-tank gun. I didn't give them any, but it seems the AI decided they're gonna have some anyway. Okay, these guys surrendered. Okay, we'll have this infantry move in here together with that Panzer II, and we won't push another Panzer II this far. Yeah, just defend there, that should work out. Get the Panzer II in the action. Uh, are these guys falling back? Oh, please don't. I need your eyes on this stuff, though. Okay, we can move these guys in. Uh, there's some trenches here that we can probably try to uh, get into position in. Move down this road here. And have these guys come down from the north as well. Alright, we're doing some good damage here. I'm gonna move this guy in a little bit further. From over here, it seemed like that uh, anti tank gun fired off. If, if that's even what it was. But I think that's what it was. If it just took out a pencil too, like that, it's had to be an anti tank something. Oh, what the hell is right there? Is this an anti-tank gun? It can't be, right? But it's certainly doing some damage to our... Uh, to a light scout car over here. Gonna move the tree so I can actually see what the hell is going on. Okay, there we go. That's good. Uh, we have one guy left here. We're just gonna run down and take this. This team is dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Basically dead anyway, I mean, we're not going to get to keep them for future battles. I think the same is true for these. If you lose more than half the men in a squad, that squad is gone.
as per my understanding of it anyway. Uh, this guy does not want to go that way. Okay. So we basically just need to get all the victor locations. Maybe we can have this guy run down here and take that. And until we can do that, we don't need to push too hard. There's a French is in here. Once we have this victor location, we can take this, and then it should be a win fairly soon after that. And the next type of fighting here, we are defending the place, not meeting engagement, needing to push through bottlenecks and minefields and shit. So we're going to be taking a lot less casualties in the future, most likely. Although it looks like we're losing this uh, Sundercraft Fort Zoic as well, which sucks, but oh well, what can you do? Okay, they surrendered. Well, he surrendered, I suppose. If we could just... Okay, yeah, it looks like they should be able to shoot that from here, right? So... Did it, who... What the hell killed our Panzer too? Because there's no real sign of any... Anti-tank guns or anything. Ah, it's going to take them a little while to climb down the uh, hill here. But once they have this, we take this. I don't want to take this first, because we could take some casualties going for that. So, And Lord knows I'm already playing uh, poorly enough already, and taking enough casualties already. So, yeah. Did a rifle grenade get the panzer? Is that what happened? Huh. I really don't know. There's a minefield here though, so... We'll see if they actually make it, but... I think there's a minefield. Yeah, there is, so... We'll see how this goes. Hopefully at least one of these guys don't step on the mine. Yeah, no, it's secured. Uh, it doesn't really matter if they die on the minefield or not. Not gonna be in future battles anyway due to taking too many casualties. So. But either way, we can maybe run in here, get this, and then hit truce and win the game. Yeah, good. Very nice. Okay, so we killed uh, 32, incapacitated 21, and took four prisoners. And we did destroy a gun, so they had a gun. Okay. Uh, we killed, well, 11 of our guys got killed, and the 14 incapacitated. They destroyed one tank, two vehicles, and damaged one tank. Well, it actually just got immobilized, but still. So, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I wish there was, uh, like, uh, after the battles, like, this tank will, you know, it, it was repaired, this wasn't, etc. So, you know, like, out of the damage stuff, what did you actually lose? Because some of our tanks got immobilized over here as well, and that's not going to count as destroyed or damaged, apparently. So, hopefully we get that back. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Um, but overall, I mean, it's a minor German victory thus far. And it's hopefully going to be a bit more on the major side of things fairly soon. Uh, but yeah, okay, well, either way, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, I would appreciate if you left a like on it, maybe even subscribed if you haven't all, uh, already done that, if you want to see some more of my content in the future. And well, with that being said, as always, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.